Samsung is out promoting the photo sharing feature on its Galaxy S3 phone, very fashionable phone, and we're going to take a quick look at the a section of the ad. You guys ready? Uh, can you take one of you? Oh, Got it. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's good. Another good one. Oh, man. Awesome. Share photos with your friends instantly, only on the Galaxy S3. Okay, that's uh, the Samsung's uh, really pushing the photo sharing feature of its Samsung Galaxy S3. And they seem to be indicating that yes, you can share photos, but maybe not so fast, says Ina Fried of All Things Digital. And she joins us now from San Francisco. Ina, that's great, isn't it? You can share photos, but only kind of. Tell us about it. So, I mean, obviously, you can share photos, you know, by emailing them in all the ways yeah. that we do today with the Galaxy S3 or any phone. What Samsung is talking about here are some built-in capabilities that try and make that easier. So they present a couple scenarios. You know, you're at the party, and instead of all having to take the same shot, um, you share it, and all of you are getting all of your photos instantly. Or in another example, there's a photo of a new baby in one of the commercials, and instead of having to each pass around one phone, every phone has the photo instantly. And those really are compelling features. The challenge here is in order to do that, everyone has to have a Galaxy S3. And, and, you can, and, and that means that if, if one of your friends has an iPhone, and there's a lot of iPhones out there, then that person cannot be included in that. So that portion of the sharing, right? Right. I mean, the, the built-in sharing features that Samsung's touting in these ads only work with other Galaxy S3s, which means they won't work not only with the iPhone, but other Android phones as well. So it's kind of a clever feature. It's really useful. But again, it's only useful with other people that have an S3. So it's, I mean, is, is that going to be a flaw for them, do you think? Um, or, do you, or do you think they'll maybe tweak it? Or, or maybe someone will come up with an app that can be can help override this. I mean, maybe there's a market there for somebody clever in Silicon Valley to get programming. Well, it's a fine line balance, and we have seen Samsung and others take different approaches. So when it comes to instant messaging, Samsung has a product called ChatOn that's much like Apple's iMessage, um, but that works with any device. And so, you know, Samsung certainly shown it knows how to do it with other devices. Whether they'll expand it or not remains to be seen. I'd certainly expect it to see it extended to future Samsung phones. Whether they can extend it backwards, I'm not sure. Um, you know, it does create an opportunity, and we saw uh, Google, for example, at its I.O. conference last week, introduce a feature called uh, party mode uh, using Google+, Plus, and at least that works um, with a broader a range of devices. So I do think these features that are limited to one handset are pretty tough. I mean, even Apple's iMessage, the reason it works is it just does it automatically if someone has an iPhone. But again, it only works if, if somebody else has the exact same phone, and we don't buy the same phones as our friends necessarily.